dear pure urology viewers good evening one and all as a part of every other day we are sharing surgical technique related to urology in this forum uh, nearly we are completing 200, 200 topics maybe this is 199th topic today's topic is till now uncovered topic related to the uro oncology that is wheel operation i remember in 2004 5 uh, when i used to do mch urology in pgi we used to uh, do open surgery uh, flap raising in case of uh, lymph node dissection inguinal region is a crazy surgery some says below some fascia above some fascia and then dissect don't raise the flaps beyond limits flap necrosis edema especially bilateral if you do infection all these are very common so a lot of discussion used to happen phenomenal amount of change has happened in the surgical approach of these lymph nodes wheel is one surgery which has given promising results i think almost has replaced open surgery now to talk about that today our speaker is dr amit roop kumar sharma actually i have seen his video in west zone i was impressed i thought why not this video be shared with the world in a large group like pure urology so i invited him and he immediately accepted thank you dr amit for accepting for this uh, talk thank you sir uh, to introduce uh, amit uh, before i introduce you officially uh, you did your mbbs and ms from where amit uh mbbs i have done from uh, nagpur and uh, ms from raipur medical college government medical college uh, okay. and afterwards uh, mch from mch from uh, nair hospital mumbai nair hospital mumbai uh, laparoscopic surgery when did you start nair hospital when you started mch uh, was the laparoscopy there yeah there was a laparoscopy both uh, my professors uh, professor patak was your hod and professor uh dr himan pathak was my hod and uh, uh, dr mukund andankar was a professor there uh, okay they used to do laparoscopy regularly they were, they, they were very good in laparoscopy uh, so from the day one of my residency i have seen the laparoscopy only there and you have seen the suturing also from day one in your hospital yeah yeah from the day one also, uh, uh, basically nice. during the residency uh, only there was a uh, there was an endo trainer uh, we used to uh, do uh, suturing practice from the second year only so apart from this type of surgery which surgery you enjoy in laparoscopy partial nephrectomy you do regularly now uh, yeah we regularly do partial nephrectomy uh, we uh, uh, in urology all laparoscopic like cystectomies and prostate we are doing regularly laparoscopically yeah in your uh, raipur aims uh, raipur aims that means you government will not give robotic technology to you if you do like this <laughs> it's too costly uh, and uh, Uh, apart uh, from you who else are there in the department uh, uh, myself along with dr deepak is there uh, he is a assistant professor there uh, there is one more faculty dr satyadev is there and uh, from 2020 we have started uh, mcs residency here so till date we have a five resident here great i i have seen recently i have gone to shikesh aims even uh, dr ankur is doing very well like you and uh, even in bhuvaneshwar aims i think dr prashant is doing i think uh, uh, the department of aims in various uh, this thing have very youngsters uh, like you who are taking up laparoscopy and advanced uh, surgeries do you do all types of works like stone uh, some andrology all this all works are done in uh, the hospital yeah we are doing all the works uh, uh, andrology including urology including yeah. pediatric urology also yeah very good uh, like uh, we are so running the special clinics for pediatric urology female urology and uro oncology yeah. oh very nice that is highly appreciated with this introduction i like to officially read about the uh, cv of uh, dr amit roop kumar sharma this is today a video based surgical presentation on video endoscopic inguinal lymph node dissection approach in patients with penile malignancy uh, by dr amit uh, he is associate professor and in charge department of urology at aims raipur he has done clinical robotic uro oncology fellowship in singapore general hospital singapore member of renal transplant team in aims raipur and tnmc and bbl nair hospital mumbai 
Member of Institute of Thesis Revised Committee for DM MCH Residency Program, Ames Raipur. Co organizing secretary of Erythroplasty Conference in TNMC and BYL Nair Hospital, Mumbai, organized by West Zone USA. Organizing member of CGSA SI Con 2020 in Raipur. He has more than 25 articles and 10 papers published in national and international papers. This is the way government institutions uh, should lead front uh, so that uh, a lot of uh, MCH residents will get advantage. I'm very happy for this change that they are competing par with any institutional private organizations. So with this introduction, I once again thank Dr. Amit uh, for, for accepting this invitation. Over to your Dr. Amit, please. Uh, thank you very much, sir, uh, for your kind uh, introduction. Uh, yeah, it is shared. It is clear. Yeah. Uh, today, I will talk on the step by illustration of uh, video endoscopic inguinal lymphadenectomy and a uh, penile cancer. Uh, before starting the presentation, I will uh, uh, give the brief of history of uh, video endoscopic lymph node dissection. It was first described in the cadaver model by Bischoff, later was popularized by Tabashu and Makedo, uh, who have done a pioneer work in the video endoscopic lymph uh, node dissection in the uh, carcinoma penis. Uh, the today's presentation I have divided into a first, uh, the video is of a classical wheel, what we are knowing, uh, what the people are doing the robotic. We have made some modification in the lateral wheel. Uh, we were having some difficulty in performing the classical wheel. And there is a third video where the vascular injury was happened and uh, how we tackle uh, uh, laparoscopically, it, it is there. Uh, to start with, uh, as we all know, uh, penile cancer account for less than 1% of all malignancy in India with approximate 50% uh, survival as five years. Uh, inguinal lymph node dissection uh, is a uh, play a major role in the management, both for staging and the disease control. Uh, we all know open procedure of, uh, is gold standard for intermediate and high risk diseases with uh, superior survival 84% versus 35% with early ILND. What are the problem with the open procedure? We all know that it is a gold standard, but uh, it is associated with high morbidity, especially related to the flap, as uh, already stated by uh, Chandamon sir. Uh, that ultimately delays uh, the adjuvant treatment, which uh, patient uh, should get as early as possible for a disease control. Why uh, video endoscopic? Video endoscope because it significantly reduces the uh, morbidity by 30%. As with similar oncological outcome and patient can be uh, started an adjuvant treatment as early as possible for a disease control. Uh, as we can clearly see from the picture on the left hand side, uh, the patient was underwent uh, post open uh, inguinal lymph node dissection. Uh, there was a flap necrosis uh, leading to uh, uh, skin complications and uh, ultimately it healed by the secondary indentation. Uh, it uh, required uh, nearly one month uh, to get uh, healed. On the, on the opposite side, a patient underwent uh, inguinal lymph, uh, video endoscopic lymph node dissection. And you can clearly see it is a uh, day 14 picture where there is no uh, skin complication at all. Endoscopic anatomy, most important thing is, uh, in doing a video endoscopic is uh, identification of a plane. Uh, it should be created below the scarpa's fascia and we all uh, should try not to go too lateral as if we go too lateral uh, to the fascia lata, there is a potential chance of injury to the femoral. Now, I'm not going into the detail of uh, boundaries and, uh, and uh, anatomy of a femoral triangle as we all know. Uh, the, that it is bonded by this arterial adductor longus, inguinal ligament and all the fiber fatty tissue uh, present within the femoral triangle is uh, removed. Uh, types of wheel, there are two approach, uh, we all know, uh, robotic and laparoscopy and surgical technique, uh, classical and lateral wheel. This is a patient position for the classical wheel. Uh, after general anesthesia, patient is kept in the supine position with the both legs apart. This is followed by uh, marking. This is most important for a orientation and to uh, orientation during the surgery and uh, to see for monitoring the progress of a, uh, a dissection. Uh, to uh, what uh, mark, um, uh, marking should be done? First is the anterior superior leg spine. 
pubic tuberculum medially, femoral uh, triangle boundaries sartorius laterally and adductor longus medially with marking to the femoral artery. This is very important uh, during uh, because during the dissection, whenever we, we have a difficulty in identification of femoral artery, this landmark will help us uh, to, for the identification. This is operating room ergonomic uh, in a classical wheel where uh, a surgeon is on the lateral aspect of the uh, patient uh, of the side to be operated and assistant is uh, standing in between the legs with monitor to the opposite to the surgeon. Uh, actual port placement, uh, typically in a classical wheel, uh, uh, first port is a camera port, which is kept uh, one to two centimeter just uh, distal to the apex. Uh, this is followed by the blunt dissection. Uh, the uh, techniques of the port placement, I have a separate video, uh, I will be sharing in shortly. Uh, this is followed by the placement of the two working ports, which are four finger away from the uh, camera port. Mm -hmm. This surgical uh, video uh, of a classical wheel. In a classical wheel, uh, typically the dissection started from portal to cranial. We try to create a plane uh, deep to the scarpus fascia with the uh, energy source. Typically, dissection uh, started from, uh, from the cranial to caudal side. Here we can easily appreciate a sartorius and uh, uh, scarpa fascia above. I'm just a uh, little bit fast forwarding this video. This is just, to, just this uh, video was just to uh, compare with the lateral what uh, we are uh, demonstrating later on. Here we can see uh, the, all the fibro fatty tissue above the inguinal ligament are uh, uh, dissected out and we can easily appreciate the pulsations of femoral uh, artery and above there is an inguinal ligament. This is same uh, steps what uh, people are performing in a robotic only. This is Thunderbeat? Yes sir, this is Thunderbeat. You routinely use what energy source when you uh, uh, sir, alternate uh, ligature is better than the underbeat, sir, for this this type of surgery because uh, uh, what we have found uh, the incidence of lymphuria is less with the uh, ligature as compared to thunderbeat. Sir. Overall, ligature is used with commonly by many people. You have both in your department. Yes, sir. Uh, in fact, all three. Uh, uh, harmonic, harmonic and okay. yeah, all three are there. You can appreciate in which case which one is useful, like that, uh, sir. Uh, particularly in the lymph node dissection, uh, that uh, ligature is more useful uh, because and it coagulates um, and co completely upscrew, uh, 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 vessel sealing effect will be there. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, this is on right side, this is on right side. Yeah, this is on the right. Right side. So first between the scarpus and uh, the uh, fascia lata, you are removing the fat. Yeah, sir. First, uh, there is a plane created deep to the scarpus fascia. And uh, we go first. Uh... Hello. 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 Rajender? Hello? Is disconnected. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no problem. Again, reconnect. Uh, dear audience, uh, he is power shortage. He got disconnected, and uh, we will be coming back within one minute. He has already, uh, he already started.
Yeah, you are online. So he is mentioning that uh, uh, femoral triangle uh, la when you draw three ports, uh, one exactly at the triangular tip is the camera port on either side with 20 to 30 degree five ports he mentioned. He is going from uh, caudal to cranial. That means towards the lower end of the thigh, towards the inguinal ligament he was going. Amit? So he, he immediately he is able to see the sartorius on the medial aspect and uh, on the lateral aspect, the pulsations he has shown and uh, these pulsations are of femoral artery pulsations. So then he is dissecting the fat uh, anteriorly. He is dropping the fat anteriorly along with the lymph nodes. That is the first step he was showing. So he was using Thunderbeat and he says that uh, uh, the Ligasure is better than Thunderbeat for controlling the uh, lymphedema. I hope he will join. Please uh, apologize for the inconvenience. Uh, and uh, um, and uh, he's so already connected. Yeah, you are audible, but its voice is breaking. Uh, your face I am not able to see. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hello. When? Who did sign out? And actually, you are a sign out. Sign out. And. Sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, we are still on live. Hello, Amit. Yes, Amit. Go ahead. Who's why are you removing the statement support of that? He's only now. Don't throw it in there. See? Electricity. 
We are waiting for him. Some electric electricity issue is there. Please bear with us. It's an interesting topic. Hello, Amit. Hello. Ah, sir. There was a, some power failure there. Uh, no problem. No problem. We are online continuously. Only two, three minutes gap will be there in the video. Uh, they can fast forward it. No problem. Uh, we were at the dissection. Um, yes. Yes. Sir, yes. This will be a started. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you have removed the fat from the scarpus fascia down uh, caudal to cranial uh, from the right hand port. This is on the right thigh. All yes. the fat you are dropping from the above fat. And above you have fat. shown that uh, femoral artery pulsations. Yes, sir. And you are dropping fibro fatty t the uh, lymph node tissue yes, from, from the skin to the uh, loose space below. Loose, loose space to there, loose irrelevant space, sir. Yes. That level we got disconnected over to you now. Yes, sir. You are using uh, thunder beat. You feel that uh, leg assure is better. Now you are liver, you are at the inguinal lig ligament now. Yeah, sir. I am on the inguinal ligament. We are he can uh, appreciate the adductor longus muscle, femoral vein, and uh, femoral artery. Yeah, and all so, the fibro fatty tissue over the uh, adductor longus muscle is uh, is uh, slowly uh, uh, taken off. Care should be taken. Here are the small vessels. They are going directly into the uh, femoral vein. They should be uh, uh, cautiously uh, controlled with this uh, energy device. Okay. And vision is very good. What camera you use? Sir, Olympus. Olympus. Very good. Olympus uh, 200 or uh, I don't know. Vizrae light. Uh, Olympus 200 is there. Uh, that is 2D. And uh, Olympus uh, 3D is also there, sir. With us. Very nice. Uh, there was some problem uh, in uh, doing the classical wheel. So we have just shifted the port. Uh, what uh, Chandramal sir, sir is saying, ki, uh, he has uh, observed in the waste zone. Uh, so we have just modified uh, our port placement, uh, what we call as a lateral wheel. Uh, here the ergonomic is, uh, there is no need to keep the patient legs apart. Uh, both surgeon and assistant are on the ipsilateral side of the surgery, uh, so, uh, on the side to be operated. And the monitor is on the contralateral side. This is a patient position, uh, similar things, uh, anatomical landmarks are drawn uh, before placement of the ports. Here we can see uh, orientation of all the three 
uh, including camera and two working ports are oriented on the lateral aspect only. Very nice. Ergonomically also thoda better probably. Yeah, sir. Uh, ergonomically, the thing is that uh, what we have realized uh, when we are operating with a classical wheel on the left side, uh, your shoulder will be moving away from your body. So there will be a fatigue of your shoulder. Okay. Here, uh, there is no problem of fatigability of shoulders. Anything. This looks like a similar laparoscopy on either side of the center. Yeah, the, this uh, looks similar like uh, what we are doing for the right side uh, nephrectomy. Uh, just uh, consider that uh, saphenous vein is IVC and uh, that... Uh, uh, yeah. Femoral vein as IVC and saphenous vein as a renal uh, pedicle. Vein. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, short video demonstrating uh, the first port placement. Uh, we just given a small incision. Uh, as already stated, uh, two lateral should not be gone there, uh, because there may be a potential injury to the femoral nerve. Here we cut the skin and subcutaneous tissue till facial atta. Here we can easily appreciate the white glistening layer that is a facial atta only. Very nice. This is followed by a blunt dissection with the finger, both cranial and caudal. This is most important step in performing the wheel uh, because all your surgery will depend on this uh, step only. Like retroperitoneoscopy or? Yes, sir. Same, same, same. Same. And this once you are in a good plane, this is easy job. This is easy job. Unless yes. operated previously, unless operated previously. Yes, sir. Uh, this is followed by a small incision for 5mm working port, which is approximately four finger away from this camera port. Better uh, to use this threaded uh, disposable port uh, because the space is, there is a concern of space. And uh, if you use a metal, uh, there is a uh, chances of the accidental uh, dislodgement of these uh, ports. These, these disposable plastic are almost replacing. We we also use in all cases. Yes. Uh, because metal sometimes can damage. And uh, for this uh, camera port, what we are doing, uh, just uh, two, uh, three, four centimeters distal to the, that, uh, we are keeping that, uh, uh, um, that uh, rubber tube. And uh, just uh, fixing that with the to silk. prevent the gas leak. Yes, to prevent the gas leak along with uh, to keep that uh, port there uh, fixed there only to uh, avoid the uh, accidental uh, displacement of that. Very nice. Uh, surgical video of that uh, lateral wheel. Yeah. Similarly, uh, we here also start with creating a plane deep to the scarpa fascia. Just uh, incising the scarpa fascia with uh, pottery. It is uh, uh, this uh, the, uh, hook was just used to for the demonstrative purpose only. Hook, I feel difficult to manipulate in such. A yeah, sir, it is difficult. If we a small over uh, can cause uh, injury yeah. to other structures. Yes, sir. I heard of uh, thyroidectomy like this done subcutaneous, uh, but in urology, yes. we are enjoying this surgery subcutaneous plane in uh, superficial tissue. Yes, sir. Similarly, uh, the, uh, all the fibro fatty tissue uh, just uh, deep to the uh, scarpa fascia is dissected out. This is uh, called as a deep first approach only. D? Deep first approach, where uh, we go first uh, deep to the scarpa fascia. Uh, all the fibro fatty tissue that is present over the top are uh, brought down only. Very nice. Excellent uh, vision and uh, blood flea. Sometimes blood also can uh, cause problem in this surgery? Yes, sir. It, it is very much uh, troublesome because there is a concern, uh, there is a issues of space only. If there is a bleeding, uh, then it becomes very difficult to manage uh, because vision get impaired. Yeah. You have to be very slow. Very slow along with that small vessel, uh, as we can see uh, going directly, this should be uh, uh, controlled uh, with uh, properly with uh, your vessel sealing devices. A small amount of bleeding will uh, hamper your vision. Yeah, it's a very narrow, much narrower than retroperitoneoscopy.
uh, here the classical in a lateral wheel a dissection proceed from uh, lateral to the medial aspect and from cranial to uh, the caudal to cranial this is saphenous vein yeah this is we are the, uh, we are dissecting out the saphenous vein uh, this is uh, we are doing on the left side left side aspect of the thigh This is the right thigh, na? Hello. This is the right right side thigh, na? No, sir. This is on the left side thigh, sir. Left side thigh and uh... saphenous is on the uh, medial aspect, sir. Okay, right. Uh, here we can see a sartorius muscle here, and there is uh, there is attachment of a fibro fatty tissue at the level of the anterior iliac spine. and uh, we can appreciate uh, there is a pressure from the top uh, for the identification of femoral uh, artery uh, that uh, we have marked previous uh, before the putting the port these are tributaries these are the small branches they going directly uh, from the flap to the uh, that septum of at the septum of femoral junction and uh, they are the small small uh, superficial branches uh, of artery uh, that are arising from the uh, femoral artery these are small venous vena, uh, venous tributaries they are typically present uh, near the medial aspect of uh, inguinal ligament near the superficial ring and this part is uh, very much easily uh, uh, deal with lateral wheel uh, as compared to the classical in classical we are going from down to above uh, there is difficulty in seeing this type of uh, venous structure here we can see a small tributary that is going directly and we can appreciate down there is a great uh, saphenous vein yeah this is followed by the medial most dissection here also care should be taken as there are the small uh, branches that can bleed and uh, hamper your vision here we can easily appreciate uh, the medial aspect of inguinal ligament and uh, above uh, that uh, superficial ring along with the quad this is a superficial ring yeah along with the cord and that uh, inguinal ligament that ultimately turn there as a cupus ligament yeah above Ab is the external oblique aponeurosis here and this is an inguinal ligament yeah yeah this is followed by the lateral most dissection uh, we are just uh, cutting the fascia lata and all the fibro fatty tissue above the femoral artery is gently lifted up usually this plane is avascular this plane is avascular when compared to the previous which you did dropping yeah dropping small vessels can bleed na no? bleed yes sir this if you are sticking on to the 
muzzle yes sir directly will go into the dipped area of uh, femoral uh, uh, the femoral uh, and uh, no way femoral uh, 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 femoral nerve will come it's too lateral for your ports yeah, no? yeah yes it, it is too lateral so directly will go to the femoral artery yeah sir we can appreciate the pulsation here yeah, yeah. very clear vision so you gone anteriorly dropped the fibro fatty tissue from the scarpas and then you have gone superiorly inguinal ligament scraped everything everything now you are going uh, lateral to medial coming on to the lateral border of the trying to go yes. to the lateral border of the femoral artery yes sir and you you are sweeping all to the center um, to the center of femoral the medial aspect yes sir medial aspect now from lateral you are sweeping down on the yes sir Yeah, you can easily appreciate the femoral artery. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, the medial to the femoral artery, there's a femoral uh, vein. Vein. Now you are still on the adventure of the femoral artery, lifting yes, the sir. fatty tissue. Yes, sir. Medially. Now the femoral vein is seen. Yes, sir. So slowly you have to dissect and keep on burning yes, a little bit and going. Yes, sir. In slightly yes, harmonic, harmonic will be difficult in this case, definitely. Yes, sir. And uh, keep very we we must uh, very careful while dissecting this part, uh, as there are uh, previously multiple, stated uh, multiple small multiple. small vessels that that can bleed. Total three major vessels they will come now. One superficial yes. circumflex iliac, superficial epigastric, and superficial uh, uh, inguinal in branches. Now. Yes, sir. Yes. All branches have to be uh, yes, dealt carefully at the yes, cephalofemoral junction. Yes, sir. Okay, a small amount of bleeding will hamper your vision. Hamper your vision. Extra excellent dissection this is. You are slowly just uh, stripping all the fibro fatty tissue from uh, near the SFG. Yeah, I, able to appreciate the S SFG. Yes, sir. This is saphenous vein, just opening into femoral vein. This is femoral vein. The heat transmission is very less, sir. With this instrument, yes, sir. It is not much. Not much. This is followed by detachment of that fibro fatty uh, from the medial aspect uh, <coughs> of the adductor longus. Yeah. Now this plane is a beautiful plane, and uh, you are safe by this time. Yes, sir. Muzzle is so seen so nicely. Just you have to be on the muzzle. Yeah, on the muzzle. I'm recollecting my long back open surgery steps. <laughs> Great, highly happy, very happy to see the dissection. Uh, this is the final picture. I am just pausing the video. Uh, we can appreciate that uh, femoral artery mm -hmm. here. Femoral artery is uh, this is a few femoral yeah. artery. Yeah. Along with that, uh, vein is going into uh, the uh, femoral uh, vein. This is followed by putting the specimen uh, into the specimen bag. And uh, it is just removed from the uh, one of the camera um, from the middle uh, one camera board. Very nice. You have to incision a little bigger. Just, uh, just uh, uh, we have uh, depending upon uh, the bulk of the nodal packet. Yeah, but there is no issue of healing there. Yes, yes, yes. This is a simple stab. Yeah. After that, will you put the drain? 
uh, from the board port, uh, we put a suction drain there. Yeah. Romovac suction drain. Romovac suction drain. Excellent. Uh, what are, these are the why we have uh, chosen for a lateral as compared to the classical wheel. Uh, so we can see from the picture, uh, there is no need for a change of the patient position. In a classical wheel, we have to keep the both the leg apart. And it, ergonomically, it is uh, not, uh, it is very cumbersome classical wheel, especially in the laparoscopy. Robotic, you can do whatever the way you, can, uh, you, you may do. And second thing is that, uh, as sir, uh, you have stated, uh, uh, the lateral wheel is just a replica of a right side nephrectomy only. And we can easily appreciate uh, the whatever the small uh, tributaries are there in the cranial part. They are easily seen and easily uh, tackled with the vessel devices. Mm. Uh, just want to uh, discuss one uh, case. Uh, this was the video I have shown in the West Zone. Uh, 32 year gentleman presented in our OPD with the, uh, the right side testicular mass. Uh, there was a scrotal violation. Uh, somebody has done a biopsy. He presented with the right side testicular mass with inguinal lymphadenopathy uh, with a marcus raised. So we just uh, did a high inguinal staging orchidectomy and the uh, final histopath report was seminoma with yolk sac. Uh, this was followed by the three cycles of chemo and markers were done, they were negative, but on uh, uh, repeated imaging, there was a persistent uh, bilateral inguinal lymphadenopathy. Uh, the good thing was that uh, the nodes were uh, not fixed and it, the overlying skin was free. Uh, these are the CT pictures uh, post chemo, uh, we can appreciate bilateral, there was a nodal uh, lymphadenopathy. The main objective was to describe uh, here, uh, we sacrifice a sapona femoral uh, junction as uh, there was a bulky lymph node and it was difficult to dissect out the saponous, uh, saponous vein from the uh, that structures uh, because uh, as already patient has taken the platin-based chemotherapy and there was very much a dysplastic reaction there. We used to sacrifice saponous vein. Normally in wheel, do, we don't uh, sacrifice, sir. Huh? Uh, sir, uh, we can or there is nothing uh, to uh, uh, outcome related to sapna swing. If, if at all we sacrifice, the, there is no as such the more chances of lymphedema like that. We can easily sacrifice it. Yeah. I'm just fast forwarding this. Uh, that a vein was clipped with the that uh, hemolog clips followed by transaction with the uh, ligation. Uh, here there was a large lymph node at the superficial ring. Uh, we, we have to be very careful there because already uh, right side orchidectomy was done for the inguinal mask. So here we was a little bit careful uh, to dissect out that lymph node from uh, underlying uh, Cord structure on the left side. That's a sizable lymph node. Yes, sir. It will take usually one and a half hour, one hour? Uh, one to one and a half hour for each limb. Yeah. In which year we we'll started doing worldwide first wheel? Sir, it was way back in 1980s. Uh, Spanish people have uh, performed that. Uh, Tobacco and Macado uh, has done uh, near about, uh, let's say, 100 cases. And what about uh, in India when it was started actively? Do you remember? Uh, no, sir. I don't have any I don't, idea. Uh, remember. But uh, way back in 2010 onwards, I am seeing this. But not many people are doing. Robotic, uh, it is slightly easy. Yeah, robotic, it is ergonomically easy, sir, uh, uh, as uh, compared to the laparoscopy. laparoscopy. But with the lateral wheel, uh, you can give a uh, same result what you are giving with the robot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, ultimately, robotic is only technology, na? Yes, sir. A basic surgery, if your hands are able to do it enough, very nice. Uh, this is this was the pre-op photo of that same patient and this is a post-op photo. Uh, here we can easily appreciate there is no uh, skin discoloration or any. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
to this patient. This was the specimen retrieved right and left side, and final histopath report were mature mature teratoma. Very nice. Uh, this is a small video. Uh, there was a injury at the uh, saponofemoral junction. As the uh, here also there was bulky nodes. The during dissection only uh, there was an injury. We can uh, appreciate there is small rent there. So we carefully dissected all around that uh, saponofemoral junction. Uh, this is the advantage of lateral wheel. You can easily go around the that uh, SF junction. Yeah. So what we have done, we just uh, change the 5 mm port with the 11 mm port and just uh, fire a stapler around that uh, injury part. Very nice. This stapler is like, a, I feel in the high volume centers, it is like a, a rescue stitch. Yes, sir. I feel it's like rescue. Recently, I used for renal artery in xanthogranal but spalinephritis. Uh, it is just like uh, the rescue stitch. Uh, whenever we are doing in a laparoscopy, like nephrectomy and anything, uh, we just keep it by the side of the table. Yes. If something happens, uh, we just uh, can use uh, in the dying emergencies. Very, very good one. Life saving sometimes. Yes. Uh, other complication was a lymphocyl out of whatever we have operated. One patient was having a lymphocyl, which was managed by putting a UHG guided pigtail. Uh, what the initial challenges we feel? Uh, uh, initial first two cases we have done in the spinal and epidural. What we have learned uh, that. Uh, whatever the surgical emphysema we, we are creating, it is very discomfort to the patient. Uh, in second patient, uh, we have just uh, have to convert into GA uh, because that for with that surgical emphysema, he was not tolerating at all. Uh, from that uh, onwards, we are doing all the cases in general anesthesia only. Already stated, uh, lateral will is more surgenic, uh, surgenic ergonomics because uh, you can uh, you are operating from the side only. Your shoulder is not going more abducted, and there is less fatigability. And risk of uh, vascular injury, though we have a small data only, but what we have learned that uh, with lateral wheel, we can vis directly visualize the SF junction. Um, it is just like uh, orientation of renal hilum, especially on the left side, uh, so that whatever the small vessel are there, they are easily tackled with the vessel sealing devices. Uh, our experience till now, we have uh, operated uh, 27 thighs uh, out of that uh, classical in 10 patient initial, uh, then followed by 16 uh, in the lateral. Uh, mean operating uh, time was 93 minutes for each thigh. Uh, in one patient, we have to convert uh, as there was an injury to the femoral uh, uh, vein. And uh, there was one complication I already stated, when there was one patient who is having a lymphocyte uh, that was dealt with the uh, usually guided uh, pick telling. Uh, average uh, lymph node uh, retrieval was 9.5 uh, with 2.5 as on the positive uh, positive lymph nodes. Uh, to conclude, uh, this is uh, very much uh, doable surgery. Uh, and uh, for this surgery, such type of surgery, we should have a good uh, team approach. And uh, uh, we can see uh, that uh, with open, with a lot of flat flap complications and all uh, may require an adjuvant treatment, which is delayed because of that skin complications. Uh, with this wheel, we can give a good um, uh, equal result as compared to open uh, with less morbidity to the patient. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's an excellent uh, presentation, now, though not my uh, area of interest, nor my experience of interest, nor my cup of tea. I could understand from the later leave because we all have done open surgery, this surgery. In private practice, I might have not practiced anymore afterwards, but I can understand how the femoral vein is approached, how the uh, the muscles are identified, inguinal and ligament are identified. This is the first time I am going in depth about the ports and you have made modified, you should publish it, later approach in the, whether it is robotic or anything, one more thing, advantage of uh, uh, putting in one line, uh, one line, three ports is vascular injury is less. Any skin vessels or anything, they will be vertically down traversing. So 
uh, if you put in three three areas, uh, nerve or vein can get damaged. If you put in one line, chances of damage are less. That is one I feel. And uh, you also, uh, you are reflecting so comfortably from the lateral to medial uh, with the lateral approach. Then why, not, why uh, in the triangular region, putting three ports in a short uh, area, uh, it is ergonomically difficult, definitely. In between thighs, uh, one person and thighs opposite side, one person standing is also difficult. Yes. If uh, an assistant and uh, uh, the camera person standing on the same side and going medially, uh, definitely good. In, uh, I don't know how many others uh, institutions are doing. It's a good uh, thought because you have load, uh, workload, you could develop that. Yes, and, uh, uh, well, most important thing is that uh, with the open, what we have seen, uh, just uh, three, four patients, they are in the ward only for 15, 20 days. Just yeah, some yeah, yeah. Coming oh, from there, some the the was there. From... Plastic surgeon in our unit was there in MS. They used to do it, uh, but uh, flap raising is always a concern. Uh, more width cannot be taken, more, more deep also. Even retractor causes a lot of hematoma type of uh, thing, a lot of pain post-operatively. Uh, the diverse retra the, the Langenbach retractor causes a lot of trauma to this thing. Without yes. retractor, you cannot do it. Uh, we used to give S-shaped also. Uh, that also causes a problem. Horizontal incision is very difficult to reach the uh, lower part of the saphenous vein where we have to, we have to cut it. Mm, uh, that, that's a that's a good. In fact, you can you can go to any deep level here. Yes, this is a complete radical uh, um, lymphadenectomy, actually speaking. So without uh, changing the number of ports. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Dr. Amit. And uh, uh, we like to listen because this is a uh, very unofficial uh, surgical technique forum. A lot of people are getting advantage and. Uh, we can share in future if you have a good surgical tech. Need not be always the best surgery, rare surgery. Uh, it should be a technique, uh, technical te teaching surgery. We will be very happy to come back with you or your unit. Any of your unit members are doing great work. Uh, we will definitely in touch with you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Thank you very much. Yes. With this, we conclude the session. And next uh, session will be by Dr. Oliver Traxer on TFL, uh, Future of Lithotripsy. As the, as the 200th uh, topic of the pure in these uh, years. So please don't miss and it is on 19th. Thank you very much.